they're going to go for the Thompson Invoker instead. Also, a great way of being able to run around the map and make space, right? I think that's his plan. Just He's going to be the Chaos Maker. An aggressive lane up on the top. Anna and Notel, they've been dual laning together for absolutely ever, but EG, they bring three. If the first two doesn't succeed, you bring everybody. Pushing Anna back under the tower with a Metamorphosis damage. He's actually going to have enough. Anna will die on top lane. Atiti spills the first blood. Like, Thompson literally requesting, Samael, come and fight me. I'm not even getting us out. There's only been one coming out. Samael able to hit these back back stuns, missing uphill two times. Thompson, you'll get back under the tower. He's juggling the ball, but he'll drop them. Underneath the tier oh, one. There's a region. Oh, 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 thank you, Ice Rob. I was going to say Gaben, but they're the same person. So. <laughs> he just refuses to move back out of this lane. Or bring us out. He keeps getting clipped. Oh, they're An illusion rune for him, but crit. Got a rolling boulder in. Thompson sidesteps quickly. Space can be created. He's got Colts after Tornado. He's able to connect on both the mail, but the Slave is able to reach up two levels to reach Thompson on Cloud9. And it's just not feasible in the long run. So what is he going to do? He's pulling the wave for now a little bit. I look towards Ben. Rolling boulder in. Laguna Blade is up for Samael. It's the first last record rate. EMP Tornado. Samael's going to lose a lot of mana. The Colts have. He's still just got enough to get into Thompson with the Living Armor. It has arrived. And Thompson will survive the first Laguna of this game. It's very unusual that you see a Trant not skill living. Oh, right. fly. He's back again. He may have survived Laguna, but can he survive everything else? Jirak will arrive. It's a good stroke. Into the stun. Now Crit's caught on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> nice turnaround for OG. Because of his great stun, he's actually going in for just the Dragonlance to begin with. I don't know if it's going to be the full Hurricane Pike. But they're looking for initiation. ES rolling forward, Thompson, and that move for speed. Haystrun is up, 550 on the board. And S4 being watched by Notel. They know he's coming in from the side, so Thompson knows how much he can get away with. With Cold Snap to mail, trying to get his own stun. The silence is there from Crit, and spell. they're not hitting every ability, meaning the back movement is possible. In fact, Jirax will die to S4. Notel for the overgrowth, but Fly starts letting it go. Two heroes down for OG. This is not the clean Chris Dota we've expected. Both of them for pretty much 13 minutes straight, not moving across the map. Or actually not true. Artisi might have been part of a push in one of the sides, on one of the other lanes. It's fine time. It's Blink reveal oh, over on the ESP. ESP. Ready! Here's Seb! Fly and Crit just evaporate. S4's also on the run. Seb, he's got Fissure up. S4, you're staying with your feet wet. No way to get away from the spray. And in he's locked corner, inside though. the pit with the double stun from Smell. Maybe a little bit extra space. S4 back to Thompson, who's one trouble. Seb, he'll blink over. Now he's trying to control up both RTZ, Smell, and S4. No, that ain't happening. Uh, Done up, and Seb is gone. Go, 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 Overconfidence go. with a capital Seb. Got any more dead wheels left? <laughs> it's kind of the issue when rolling Boulder became your stun instead of just the, the kick. Yeah. Then they move in towards the mid lane. Oh, Rolling Thompson. Baldur once again. Odor Thompson. G-Rex is nearby. Gonna put down the Ink Swell for Thompson. The damage may just be more than enough to kill him. He turns for an EMP Tornado, but in death he'll burn mana, but that's it. 30 seconds still bounty runes. There's no vessel charges, so this fight for OG, if they choose to run into the enemy team, will be hard. Oh, speaking of running into them, Thompson. Yep, Tornado is out. Fly gets sent up. Crit's going to work, but EG, they've started Roshan. That's what they want. Invoker, Living Armor's giving him some extra life. Deafening Blast gets a three man pushback. A quick Yule Sept, they're up, and with the rolling ball. And no, he misses, but Samael will not. Roshan, he's still ticking down. 3.5k, and OG are in no position to contest this. And it looks like they also have no idea. It gives away information, though. Yeah. EG, OG, or EG, no OG are coming from behind. Thompson is looking to Samael. He wants him in the trees. He's going to move up. And now, well, EMP Tornado. Samael, they want to send in dry. A Yule Scepter, defensive. Nothing is burnt. And now they all turn around for the fight. And it's moving forward. The Soul Fight, S4 as well as Arteezy together with a double silence. Letting it go. Fly, he's doing the work for Laguna Blade. Anna just cannot stand in this fight. The rest of OG want to get the hell out of there. Now they've killed Crit, but Seb, Magnetizes on him. The Fuel Scepter is up. And Seb is down. Can buy a Ghost Scepter, maybe. Can buy another Bracer. Just tank up. And you will not be one shot jumped by this PA. You get a chance to hold your ground. And if you get your ulti off, all this defensive armor is going to you know, be super helpful for you. Yeah, they High ground come. time, DD. Double on damage for him. Bottled up. Ready for this right moment. The Living Armor won't protect this much longer. Holy but what shit, do they do? This goes they... fast. Yeah, it's gone, man. It's gone. Yo, oh, do you want to defend? Uh, maybe. Oh, good Send them up in the air, get rid of the double damage with the EMP burn, not too easy. Again, decides not to dodge the EMP. And Seb, he jumps in, he has the Aghanim, Seb, they're up and out. Thunder, Arteezy, he's got the life up on Seb. Take that melee, Rax. Take the Rage one as well. 
What's PA got in return? The bottom tower? That's not enough. They need more. They could have lost Rex in this instance. And OG, it's desperation time. They need to fight. The metamorphosis is running out. And a walk underneath the observer and sentry comes right up towards RTZ. Topson finds his own target. It's S4. Send him up. The missed timing though. Seb jumps in. Trent instantly sounds him. Seb, what have you got with the soul fight? Looking for the stun. Anna looking for his own corner damage. S4. Anna can't attack in first. The Wobbler attack will do it. Anna's able to get down and then jump over for a double kill into play. Rolling ball to rip. On the start. It's all flying back right now. In Berka, so low in life. These never ending stuns come from the lead of the Echo Slam. It arrives finally in from Seb. The wall space is being created. It really seems to be all for EG. A jump away for the Sun Electric race still holds true as Seb runs for the trees. But he will not be saved. Under the opposite Sentry 2, G Rex has no way to run away. Terrible will create the mirror staying just out of the range of the stun. Notel wants to help out. Arteezy just diving in. Anna, at least he can get a crit, but Arteezy, you remember what he came here for a while ago? It was to take the lane of Rax, and they've got the damage output. They've got the creep wave, and OG have no defense. Maybe they could kill off Samael if he comes up high ground, but the rest of EG are moving towards the mid. They want to fight Anna. He blinks out for Samael. Damn this oh. He blinks away, and Lagoon is his ass. They want to go deeper into OG's base. You may have found fun, newbie, but you won't found fun this time around, OG. EG under the tier four towers. Maybe this is a little bit too deep, but there's only two players up trying to defend this. Here comes your meatball down, but Invoker, he's got nothing more to give. No tell into the base. They're all dead and GG. EG take game one. Here when it counts on the main stage. They got destroyed. I think that's fair to say that that was a very, very one-sided game, EG. And we really are looking for that third game. To repeat history from last TI, it was semi-final two that these teams met up. No talent's gone, Bush, crit. S4, here comes your level 2 fire blast out. While up on top, he's just get away, but Snowtail stunned up into the tree line. They have the damage and they have the vision. And Anna actually being given the life from Snowtail. That's all he could do at the end of this. Is something to make Anna's lane work. No tail brought extra regen. Uh, Crit was roaming a little bit on the Mirana, which gave Anna more space. And now they might even kill S4 here. Yeah, feeling One very, very stranded it. with no Mirana to stay with him. The Priestess of the Moon is currently absent from the throne. S4, another nuke from Anna. Actually, a nuke from Nortel, and a bash from Anna will do the work. Seb top. Oh, wow. Yeah, Seb, he's low on life. The homing missile will come in and finish the job. Xerox tried to help out. Be set upon on all sides. The courier's coming out to deliver the Wraith Band. Hey, guys, I think I know where he is. He's in the trees, but you'll lose the enchanter while all that's going on. Crit's able to get him. Well, OG are looking the other way. Seb got greedy. And don't friend. Oh, top to found him. Kill. Finally, they found him. Drop the nukes, drop the hammer. That's easy. They want to stay on top of him. <laughs> He's not playing Dota right now. Fly's also in trouble in the back lines. Jirax chased him into the trees. That top fight took its toll. Jirax just needs to hit him once and fly. Duke can keep moving around the rock walls, around the trees, but Jirax has towed him. It has the reach, while Anna, he has the extra life. He's getting the hit time lock over on S4. They'll toss him down, and they have the damage between the two cores. It's looking spicy. It is looking spicy for OG right now. That is true. Their laning stage. I was skeptical in the start, especially about this bottom lane, but things are looking great right now. Mainly because our team they're okay. <laughs> they're actually just put the flag down, build a wall, and Arteezy can't cross the top lane. Seb's in real trouble in the middle of the call down. The attendants will not help him. The homing missile from Samel will wipe that smile off his face while fly under the tier two tower. Jirax and Thompson once again comboing together. They're the Smash Brothers right now. S4 as well as Arteezy. The TP out. The stun. Space create. And Jirak will also leave. Gyrocopter almost top net worth. Ogre is ahead of the Enchantress. Here we go again. Oh, Toss to me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. The worst thing, can you even blame him? They've like smoked him two or three times and <laughs> they have deep wards. You just keep running him down and now well, Thompson. This is his sixth kill. He's taken 50% of the kills for OG. Thompson. 
How fast can this guy be enabled? Phase boots up, move through the trees. Another fissure block. Jirax, this is why on support ES he is one of the greatest. Jirax saw the rune get taken here. I think this might blow this gank from OG that Anna. SMR went and grabbed this rune. No, he's, Anna. He's still under ops. Oh, he's gonna and now he's going to time walk into s Body cast down, combining with the arrow, put him to sleep as well. Starfall finishes the job from crit. Jerex pinged it out. He said the rune's gone. They're going to keep up the pressure. They will keep playing fast. They have the same read that playing this slow and letting EG get space is not the way to go. It's They're a great observe board down. GG knew this was coming. A quick leap away from Crit will create space. Over. Now going to go for his own zone. Great Fisher. Oh, coming in from Jirax. Actually trying to stop the arrow. It may be a little bit too late. The call down. It's great from Smell. Playing from inside the trees with a flat cannon damage. Jirax has to run up high. Thompson, he'll have to save from no tell. Jirax won't be so lucky. Neither will S4. Both dying over on the opposite sides of the lane. And Thompson finally now back up to full health. Just tosses away the gyrocopter. Arteezy has arrived up against Seb. It's not the hero he wants to fight. At least use the Chrono when it's off cooldown, and then you can go back to farming, but not even that. Tirax, Fisher, actually ults a male up on the high ground with the ET splitter. No tell has no save to this at all. Meanwhile, uh, Anna, does he want to go for a solo kill on us? Easy, he's got no damage. <laughs> he actually has nothing. Moonlight Shed has been burnt, so they can all just walk away. Oh, they're going to walk into top, sir. Oh, with the avalanche, and now Anna, time for a Chrono. He'll catch three for the Fisher. They're all caught on the other side. So Anna's only got one choice, that's to kill off Chris. Whatever it was, he got out mid lane. We're gonna have a sleep, but they're not gonna be able to combo. Two point nature's intendants and three points untouchable. And Seb's gonna stick around and uh, attend to denial. Fly? Oh, I like that from Seb. He waited it out and fly. He's gonna get punished. Looking for that denial. S4. Gonna go for his own son on the top. But the Fisher is there from Jirax. But they can't keep the pressure up just yet. The call down from Samel, creating more space for the Ogre. Seb willing to run into it, but for how long? And now the toss, Tiny pulling back as more. Arrow flies forward, it hits on the enchant, but he's protected. And Thompson, he'll actually have the extra life through the false promise. The flag cannon from Samel, as much damage as he can, they'll stun him up. And now, maybe with the impetus, they have enough damage. Thompson, oh, oh, he just missed the toss back. And the extra stuff, and Jirak, he'll bring his Blink Dagger. He'll get the Echo Set. They oh. kill the damage, they kill, still can't kill Samel. We're about to be split in twice. Snapping down set, the slow for the moment, Anna, he'll get the chrono, it's over on S4, that's how they began this, Top is keeping crit out of this fight, Jurek can't get it close enough, finally, they bring down the Ogre! But that's about all to come out from that. This has to be the slowest Midas for an Ogre I've seen. It's very slow. Aw, oh, like, Arteezy, yeah. this will be a huge kill for Thompson. He would love it. Avalanche, Toss, he's got enough. enough damage, but not enough. Oh Arteezy no, that's even worse. the life away. <laughs> Arteezy knew his limits. You saw Thompson wasn't completely convinced if he could kill him, so he started hitting him first before going for the Avatos combo to get him low enough, but even then it was still not enough. Arteezy with the strength. Oh, Seb! Tank him for the team! Trying to create space for Jirax, but they'll both still die together! Meanwhile, EG continues to farm some males. Got Aghanim Scepter, the Maelstrom's coming out in the Courier. A full BKB has now arrived for the Terrorblade. Seb trying to go on to S4. That hand of Minus, well, at least he got it off before he died, but S4 is down once again. And Topson just Walking once up. more. Walking up blindly uphill. But Samael will be ready to fight. This Courier still hasn't brought his item to him, but they won't care if Topson, Avalanche, Toss, Topson's got so much damage. Help is there from Nortel. Topson just needs to get the hell out of the air. If you've got the kill first, not easy. Then to Chris, time dilate. Samel's got no movement speed. Four heroes from EG topple like dominoes on anyone from EG. I think they want to chill until Terrorblade has meta again. Oh, Terrorblade's getting jumped. That's not what they want. Avap and the arrow flies forward. It does actually control. I got Thunder off. He's gonna be free. Thunder is out. No tell still offering that protection for the Tiny. The ET stomp is out, and there's nothing much he can do. Tiny just has to sleep through this battle, and he'll snap down as the protection is now born off. Oh, EG move from one target to the next. Zeb can't do much here, but Anna, he can. Chrono is off cooldown. He's beaten the crap out of the Ogre. That's a lot of crap to get. Oh, oh, oh. Space created. The stun won't last long enough. Anna. 
Mana. Don Disco with the sparkly shield. They'll take that one for one trade. That could have got way worse. And still having Echo, still having Chrono. There's and the arrow. Vision of the Jirax. He's ready to jump. He oh! Fly. He put him to sleep. Tamayo will play the double kill. Annabelle likes the bait, but Jirax was not ready. AG, yep, 30 minute bounty runes. Split it half and half and another arcane rune. This is bread and butter for Terra Blades. Oh. And Anna, well, maybe yes to Krona to actually save it. The Fissure holds him out. The Four Star pushes him away. Jerex they really are trying to hold it. Thompson jumps in for the Avalanche. Let's go for easy. Going to go in for the BKB. The call-out's coming as well. They have to make sure he doesn't get the Thunder offset. Has the high ground BKB protection. Three-man Krona. Murano's the only one to miss out it. But they take out some out. He's number one. Terra Blade number two. The Fissure. The control from Jerex is perfect. This time, we're layering it like a cake. Moving towards S4, the detection was already out. Maybe with the bashes, they have another dust available. Down he goes. They Top played around the rune well, and they're going to be rewarded handsomely. They get a full lane of racks from this, it looks like. It looks like it. And then they can just back off, reset, and buy their items. No, nope, they're not going to complete the racks. I agree. <laughs> Tier 3 towers being beaten down. Here we go again. Long stun on the arrow. And remember, he's got the Agassi Mortal. But it's the low cooldown abilities. Fly getting smacked in the ball. Oh, 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 oh. Thompson! Oh, oh, oh! That tree had thistles! Ah, uh, buyback has to arrive. The melee wreck is gonna fall. Anna's still waiting for the right chronosphere time. Arteezy playing on the edge. At least he has to dodge some of the damage. Here's your jump forward. Time oh, got two bastards. And now into the chronosphere. They hold him. They toss him down. And Zemail needs to do some work. Five back to the from Arteezy. It's now or never. The arrow. He don't connect. Thompson still just having to stand there in the middle of the ET splitter. Anna's jumped himself back again. But Arteezy, he's here to fight. Thompson, he's there to be saved. They're trying to get up the hill. The stun is actually able to get Thompson down on the hillside. Oh, he actually TP's out in front of Arteezy. On Arteezy's home. Here we go again. Yep. Lincoln's popped. But oh, where's the opening? OG want to go because there's no metamorphosis. So they feel like EG can't take this fight. So far they're right. They even have the same. EG's going to smoke up, however. But what do they do? You want to wrap around the back? Smoke's already breaking on some mail. Says the one on the front line. He's got BKB. He knows he can just be that attractor. Who wants to come in from EG? The melee barracks doesn't really set a chance. Another sleep. This one's over on faces for Ogre jumping into the back lines. Anna instantly jumps back out to help his teammates. The BKB Ogre. It was a good distraction, but EG, what can they really get out of it? A call down on top of the ramp. Set moves forward, but here comes Anna going on top of Arteezy. Where's the opening still? Flies going down. He just cannot take this bark or bite. And now the jump in from oh. three man and the Chrono. Toss them down, Popson. And maybe they got a little bit more. Jirax controlling Samel on the back lines. There's no more BKBs. There's no more real Titanic to work with. And Arteezy, so low on life, does not have the thunder. And even kills him with a proc on the Mjolnir. This may just be it with none of them left. Gyrocopter doesn't have enough power. OG will not let up. And Thompson's like, okay, inside your face. I remember doing this in game two of my last winner's bracket match. Saved. The false promise is there. Notal will sacrifice himself, or will it even be a sacrifice? Samal can't get the kills. Thompson, he starts the toss up. And that's GG. We will have a remake of the TI8 semi final two going to a game three, a decider between OG and EG. Arteezy Slark. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anti mage. This is what we said, right? The anti mages, they, they, they trickle back into the TI meta. They got three free hits in on Ana, just burning off the mana as fast as possible. So Ana has to dig into the mango to spin later. And then, oh, that's a. That's a great grant. That's some Anna. serious damage. Is he going to spin? He has not left that thing up and six, yet zero. HP, Ana is down. Oh, he got tossed up top step. Got oh. tossed into the tower. Too deep. Oh, no, he can't die here. That's real, real bad for OG's laning. That is such a big kill. With, but the best the best player for him to combine with is a Sand King. But he's just bottom lane, bottom lane, yeah. AMP, they just need to change That's the time to make one. sure there's no blink away and not easy. Spell shield won't help you there. A bit sooner.
has the stick charges if he really needs to blink. Seb just moving over. It's like, okay, what curse crown me? Thompson's ready to fight. Thompson, in fact, please set stun me too. S4 able to do it, but Jirax, he gets a double stun of his own. They get the telekinesis grab over on S4, but Jirax, he's focusing over on crit, using that call snap for the control. S4 now comes up as well up the hill, realizes OG owns this part of the map with the impetus. He actually gets the damage. He'll die from the fall. Jirax, not the perfect layer, but it'll still work nonetheless. Samel, Ben, burned out of mana. He's bottle charging up. Seb needs to give the attendance over towards Thompson now. They can turn their attack over. Fly, he's arrived as well. Looking for that damage. Have they got enough? Samel has to leap distance to get away to safety. And crit, he wants to turn around. Thompson, again, that cursed crown. It's going to get the stun. The quaff, it will not be enough life and sustain to keep Thompson alive. And Samel will quite happily take that kill. They want to try on honor here. This kill is difficult. Actually, flat out impossible for these two heroes. He can spin CPR. Yep. Problem with the Avalanche, never a permanent He doesn't stun. have a TP. Oh, oh, Shadow Rock oh, will take up the healing ward. Jirax is nearby. He may have to borrow to create some space, or he's just like, okay, Hannah, I'm sorry, man. You can only slice if you want to, but you're dead. It was a good idea from S4, but he missed the toss on the Jugger. He tossed a creep instead that got in the way. Seb, you're coming in deep, man. Like, they're under a shrine. He's got a lot more Avalanche toss up into the arrow, and Thompson's trying to help out with the call snap, pushing Smell away. Enchantress, now going to get the sprites off. No tell still there. The mana boy, that's easy. He'll oh, the tornado! The EMP, they're all burnt dry! It is an absolute drought of EG! Oh, Artizi's not going to be happy with that one. The arrow from Samel, well off target of Invoker. Colsam's coming off cooldown right now. The Curse Crown, well, everyone stand together and get stunned. Maybe there's some damage from the Bedlam, but then the Fire Strike from Jirax picking off Chris. And this game has escalated quickly. Good observers some sentries from EG. Jirax, oh, he'll cop that arrow. Still under sentry. Samel can claim that kill nice and quick. And then S4, he'll jump in as well. They're going up the supports and they've got him. Samal with a double kill. Turn your attention over towards Seb. It'll take a long time to attack into him. The EMP burn is also there from Thompson, making life a little bit more difficult for the Dark Willow. And Seb, he wants to battle. They have sentry versus sentry. Somebody get rid of that. Flies moving forward. You can definitely see them. They're sentries. Oh, crit. Oh, that's a good combo. Really good jump in. The Bramble, he'll catch out Anna. He's got Omni Slash. He can turn around right now. There's only one creep that's there. They're doing all the spin damage into S4, but he has to burn the ultimates from Anna. He'll crit at the end. And sure, Arteezy's getting some space, but man, this is, by his standard, super late Battle Fury. And he had a good start, too. And Chris dead. EMP Tornado catching him up on the top, but Shadow Roll will add some protection. He's got no more mana to work with. We'll get the damage into Notel, hung around a little longer. Arrow, it flies forward. A nice long five second stun. Over on the Rubicon will now go down and fly. They kill off Thompson. EG. They needed something, and that's something. Seb? Seb? Okay. I'll do this solo. Maybe I won't. Anna's nearby. But while that's been happening, there was no defense. Tier 3 tower is gone. There's even a couple of creeps to help the push go. Anna spins. Now he's going to take the melee racks. You said EG may have to pay the price. The toss, they find one in deep. Step under the tier 4 towers. The arrow looking to connect as well, but the Omni Slash S4. He's just totally stranded. Anna will find the kill. Fly trying to let it go. Anna's taking through all of this, however. The sustain. I thought EG are meant to be Captain America, but OG, they can do this all day. And the call snap. That's not going to follow it up. 14 HP. The sun strike. No, you've got no tail. He stole the blink from Anti-Mage and jumps in. Of course you can do that. Finds the kill. Nice chase up over on top to five seconds up. But there's no one from EG who can get close. Jirax comes to win the epicenter. Expecting EG to engage, but they're not there. As OG look for another lane of racks. Pushing through. Crit, he's getting the chip damage into Thompson. Where's your jump? Artizi is still farming in mid lane. He will not join. Any mage has not finished farming, but S4 is dead for 70 seconds. He's losing his teammates. And what does Artizi want to do? The answer for anti-mage, keep on farming. What's OG going to do? Keep on pushing? <laughs> Sounds good to me. There's no tiny for 50 seconds. This is... It's, it's over. It, they don't have the damage. They can't kill these heroes, I think. Jump in. Look for your target. Marana, Samael, he's leaping the wrong direction, but he had no other choice. But now he doesn't have a way free. Artiz, he's trying to grab the creep waves, but they're all pushed in. The bottom lane's pushed in, which is allowing this pressure from OG up on the top as Fly. Man, Shirex, he doesn't give to who he's, he's got defensive yours after available. 
Trim will get some chip damage into Nurtel, but it's, hey, he has to fight. BKB is out for Ratizi. Now's the time, but he's getting picked up, thrown away. All oh, that bombing, and what did it achieve? Ratizi, well, it'll achieve one kill. First run to Nurtel. He'll blink away. Regeneration is required. Salving up so they can get back to the front lines. They can't lose all these lanes of racks. Tiny is back up again. The TP's coming to the sideline. Here comes S4. Avalanche. Tops. They look towards Thompson. And maybe they got enough damage. Arteezy. The bar is from Jirak. It all connects. The spell shield. It wasn't there to actually protect him. Now S4 is stranded. It was a hallelujah play from EG. But right now the gods are on the side of OG. Seth will get himself a double kill. The two big claws there for so long. Agency Mortal will give Adam back his life. They're claiming the range racks. Megas are up 26 minutes in. EG up all the on the road. Looking for an opportunity, and Anna, he's begging for it. He's got Manasal, he's ready to dodge. They're into the trees. Arteezy blinks away, and maybe tops him. He'll be set up towards the air. The Cursed Crown is there. He'll be out again. The nice chase done. Chris Low on life. Arteezy getting some cleave damage. They're sent away by the Terror Rise. Arteezy, the mana void is good, but is it good enough? The sustain from OG, it continues to run. Arteezy protected by the BKB. He has to jump back in again. Crit, S4, they even get the Tornado onto Arteezy over in the tree lines. Goodbye. The lights are going out for EG right now. Luckily, this is a winner's bracket, but OG, they will push forward to the winner's bracket final, repeating the history of TI8, 2-1-ing EG in this semi-final two. So they take the Roche, they go for all the ranks in one streak, and they just, they made it look really easy, but there's, in this replay for EG, there's like one or two moments to go and look back on and be like, man, if we don't go for the Enchantress, this game is so different. And this, this hero is proving to be a huge problem. They won all three games in the series. It was a big, big nuisance to the other team in all three of the games.